When he gets quiet, that means BB's up to something. What are you doing? I'm getting my nails off so I can do another video. Okay. you got going on you don't have your light on oh i forgot that one is it too dark in here or is that perfect no it's all right for what this. are you doing now i'm taking this stuff off see why well, you don't like christmas i'm gonna redo them for christmas ah. because i cracked the shit out of that nail so what's that that you're gonna use that no i don't know if i'm gonna use that one or not these little ones right yeah. here i'm thinking about it and how are you getting these off well, first I'm gonna get the the hard gel off. Okay. And then I'll soak them off with the cotton balls with the acetone. Okay. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm all right, people. It's okay. Kind of, sort of. Really? <laughs> <laughs> You're putting your nasty ass feet up on my desk for a minute. Uh, you don't do feet? <laughs> Not your feet. <laughs> What are you trying to say about my feet? You're too sensitive with feet. Yeah, ticklish. I was doing this with the acrylic bit, but I just want to get some of it off. Break the... I got to break the seal of the hard, clear gel. Because mm. that doesn't like to soak off. And that one's not strong enough. So, all right, let BB get the stronger one. Break out the bad boy. Then. Right. Here we go. God, don't ask me what this bit is right now because I can't even. Remember. I'm not even asking you. All right. I think this one's the typhoon, but I'm not sure. Oh, there we go. Now we're cooking with gas. Anyway, while Bibi's doing that, we got Taylor. Let's see if I can get this right, meme right. Hop on that train. Taylor <laughs> Saverwin from Mesa, Arizona. Yeah. Woohoo. And then we Thank got. Thank you for the cards, too. Another one. More than 2,000 natural sandstones, arches, pineapples, fins, balanced rocks. Arches National Park, Utah. Mm -hmm. We got this one here from Mr. Square Art. Yeah. Hell yeah. Like well, Mr. One. Square Art, you want a mug? Oh, there's no return address. Sorry. <laughs> that's not Mr. Square Pants. No, card. that's Square Art. Oh, that that's one's Square, square Art. Yeah, Square okay. Art. <laughs> yeah, that's right. And then Same. this one is from Jay. There's All right, two. Jay, we got two. We got the Get Well. And we got the Christmas one. Christmas card. Now, I'm confused because I promise you, somebody said they were supposed to send us a Square card blank. And I don't know if it was Square Art or it could have been uh, Jay, this one here. And yes, Jay, we did let BB, I mean, we did let uh, Dave, and Deb Deb. Dave, Dave, and Deb, Deb know that uh, you enjoy them. And uh, I will continue to pick on Dave just for you. <laughs> <laughs> he does it naturally, y'all. I mean, me and everybody. Dave, we were, me and Dave been together since 2010. <laughs> And we're like brothers, 
and we argue and we joke and laugh and everything. And pick up and we one get another. right, right. And Dave is so easily gets so easily rattled and stuff. So that's why I like messing with Dave because uh, and me and uh, Jack too. We like messing with him because he gets so rattled easily, and then he just, oh my gosh, I, I, I'm gonna show. <laughs> but yes. Let me read those cards in just a moment, y'all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just here, just thing. I'm gonna go put on a pizza, and I'll be right back. Oh, thank you, Mr. Cameraman. Yeah, went to Walmart, and we got a pizza. So, waiting for the stove to warm up, and I think it said like 15 minutes. All right. All right. It's dusty. Why don't you have that fan on after I, you made me do I'm all that work? I'm telling you. I'm completely... You made me do all that work, and then... Forgetful today. Then we edited it to look like you did it. <laughs> we both did it, okay? Okay. <laughs> All right, I'll be back. All right, baby. All right, cameraman. We're going to do this. All right. And then BB's going to read those Christmas cards to yeah. you guys. And we're going to chomp on some pizza. Yes. All right, so I got my cotton ball pretty wet. I gotta remember what finger I'm putting it on. Alright. So this is it. You just get it good and saturated. Here, let me sh see. It's got drips coming out. Yeah. So I just soak all that back up. You're gonna stick it on the nail like so. And then you're gonna wrap your finger like a burrito. That's the best way to describe it. And how long is that for? Uh, anywhere from 15 to 20 minutes. Ooh, oh, okay. and I cannot get... And I got well, to... we got the... We put the vinyl, know, so we're going to see. Don't, don't, don't be scared. I mean, it's going to spill. It's going to spill. I know. What is that in there? This is acetone. This is pure acetone. Gotcha. Like, when I first started a few years ago, um, doing my own nails... You were on acid? No, I wasn't on acid. Oh. Don't take shit like that. Well, okay, that. so then that's not acid... That's acetone. Right, acetone. Right. That's so don't go I... dripping that on a piece of cardboard and put it in your mouth and think you're going to get an acid high from it. Uh, no. No, not you. <laughs> we know you fixed that problem, I'm saying your viewers. <laughs> go ahead. You might wind up in the hospital. Go ahead. What else? What else? With some major digestive issues. So anyway, as I was saying, before cameraman got me off track, which is easy to do these days. I was going and buying, let me show you, I still have some of it. <laughs> there we go. I was getting this, okay? And that wasn't the real acid? Well, it has acetone in it, but right. what I didn't understand was because it says gel and all nail conditions. It has, um... Enriched with vitamin E and grapeseed oil. Well, taking it off is great. But I was using it because I didn't know any better at the time. People said, oh, just use that. That'll work. I was using it to dehydrate my nails. Well, if it's got vitamin E and grapeseed oil, I'm putting oils back in my nails. <laughs> I was wondering why it wasn't lasting for more than a week at a time, especially with my hands being in water with being a certified nurse's assistant at the time. But this is good if you're just using regular nail polish. <laughs> but if you're using your stuff. If you're using gel, you have to have. And even now, I really don't use this. I use this like when my mom comes over to do her nails. Um... But even my regular acetone, I always use this to dehydrate my nails. Okay. Well, actually, it's this, which is three quarters of 90% alcohol, and the other quarter is the, uh, the acetone. And Liz from the Nail Hub shows you how to make this. And it works just as good, if not better, because you got the alcohol and the acetone, and so it works really good together. All right, we're going to soak these. All righty. Soak away. Soak away. Did it take? Yeah, I did. I'll show you what it looks like. Now, this is different because I had artificial nails on, so I've got to melt the nail down to get it off me. 
So it's going to stick to the cotton ball. See like that. Just press it and move it around a little bit. And then it comes off. And you just get as much off as you possibly can with the cotton ball like I do. And then I'm going to go over it with a file. Because I leave a small amount of acrylic on my nails. Because I do do my nails a lot. So this way I don't damage my nail plate. I learned that from Susie from the Nail Education Center. And from Liz from the Nail Hub. So if you're changing out all the time. Like BB does. Leave a thin layer of acrylic on. But I will say. This is the first time I've actually been able to wear artificial nails and it didn't blow up my fingers. And what I mean blow up is turn them red all the way around. And I think it's because I left the acrylic on it. So therefore it adhered to the acrylic and not to my actual nail bed. Because the last time I went to a nail salon, God, and that was like in 2000 three or four getting ready for a Christmas party that just popped up and um so I went down and got them done and by the time we went out to dinner I couldn't even pick up the fork because it hurt that bad to touch anything with my fingers and that's when they told me that I may be allergic to the glue guess what that was not fun all right, so now what I'm going to do is take these, my little pads here. These are supposed to be lint-free. And what I'm going to do is here is I'm going to put it under there. And then any excess, excess glue, I will get the words out right, guys. It will um, just take it off without having a big old bulky cotton ball there. See like this? I want the, that's excess nail glue. I want that to come off without keep picking at my nails.